Hi everyone, thanks for dropping by the channel today. Today we're gonna to talk about the things I'm gonna be doing with this channel in the next few weeks. Um, I'm gonna be, uh, by the time you see this, I will have come back from Oregon. We're gonna be going out there to visit our kids and uh, there's gonna be some photography involved and hopefully we're gonna get some autumn color and hopefully not too much rain. But uh, that being said, stick around after the break and we'll give you an idea what we're gonna be up to for the next few weeks. So one of the great things about having a father that was really into photography is, is that he collected a lot of things. And uh, one of those things was this Polaroid land camera right here. It's a Polaroid 180 land camera, and it's still in great shape. And one of those things that I wanted to talk to you about uh, with my channel here is, is that this is really a photography channel and it's got a Fujifilm bent to it and maybe a little bit of a Leica bent to it. And what I want to do is I want to experiment more with doing other things like uh, shooting film on my Leicas up there and uh, my Leica film cameras. And of course, uh, with this uh, land camera, I only got two of these left because Fuji doesn't make these anymore. And I'm going to be working on a project with this particular camera. I want to make a little zine or a little book or some, something like that um, using 20 exposures. So I'm going to be very, very careful with what I'm doing. Uh, so it's going to be interesting, and I, I think it'll be a lot of fun. And I've already tested this out. I got one shot here, uh, and I discovered one thing with this camera is, is that it may be a little bit stiff so that pushing the... Um, the shutter button, <laughs> 15th of a second, nah, it's not gonna work. So um, these are gonna be setup shots. I'm gonna be putting this on a, you know, there's a, there's a tripod mount here. So I'm gonna be putting it on a tripod for most everything I do. And uh, the great thing about it is, is that this came as a kit. So it comes in a, uh, a nice, uh, you know, fold out case and it's got a portrait lens and a, a whole bunch of close-up lens, some really cool things in it, and it's it's also got a um, a cable release which fits over that. Um, it fits over this thing right here. So I can't wait to do this project. That's going to be a lot of fun. The other thing I'm going to do, like I said, was is I'm going to shoot some film, and I'm going to be using the uh, Nice Film Club in New York, and I'm going to be sending out my shots, and I'm going to get back scans because my scanner really it's a beautiful scanner but it really needs a good cleaning so i'm going to be depending on their scans from my negatives which should be all right and i'm going to be using some old film i've got some really old fuji film it's old press film 400 and 800 and i'm going to try those out and see what the heck happens i'm not really sure what's going to happen but it'll be interesting needless to say and the other thing is that I'm going to be going up north when I come back. We're going to be going up to New Hampshire and do some more cover bridges and some more fall color. And I hope that all works out great. I can't wait to do it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, one of the other things that I'm going to be doing is, is uh, I have to say my, my brother was very kind and he said he wasn't using this equipment anymore. So he has given me my father's uh, old Leica Flex and a bunch of R lenses, uh, like this 90 right here, 92.8. And all the R lenses are 2.8s, and they're really, really nice. And I, you know, this, the Leica Flex that he gave me, which is really my dad's Leica Flex, it, um, it's got a, a 50 Summicron on it, which is nice, and it's still in pretty good shape. But the camera itself really needs a darn good cleaning, so I've got to figure out a place to send that. But the neat thing about these mirrorless cameras is, is that you can put an adapter on any one of these and you can use these lenses again. So what I'm going to do is, is uh, I've already ordered a, um, a Novaflex adapter, which is a, a, a dumb adapter, but the cool thing about it is it's, it's got the... Um, it, you Leica files will know that there's, uh, for most of the lenses now, they, you know, they all have a, uh, a coating on the, the back of the flange. And that NovaFlex adapter has that coating on there and coating, not coating, coating. And I can put this 90 on here and it will tell the camera that it's a 90. Um, so that's pretty cool. Or maybe, I, I don't know how that would work, but because to me that would mean that it would just say that it was the adapter was on there and it doesn't really matter anyway. 
Um, I've got one of those ordered and I can't wait to try that out with these lenses. Now, one of the lenses I have is uh, a lens that's made by, um, it's made for Leica by Schneider and it's this shift lens, which is really cool. I don't know if you can see the shift on that. So you can see the shift on that. It's really kind of neat. Now I use this lens quite a bit um, back in the day, but I didn't use it for <laughs> shifting. I just used it as a 35 millimeter lens. It's a very slow 35, mil 35 millimeter lens. It's about a 3.5 or something like that, but it's kind of cool. And I can't wait to put it on this M240 here and see what the heck happens. That'll be a lot of fun. Now, for you Fuji folks, I'm also going to get the NovaFlex adapter, which is a dumb adapter, you know, in other words, there's no electronics going through it, uh, for my Fuji cameras, which um, I can do with my, uh, my Leica uh, M lenses. So it'll be an R2 um, Fuji mount which will be kind of cool, so I can't wait to, this will be a 135, this changes this 90 into 135, and uh, this 135 into about a 200, and I have a 182.8, which turns it into a one, I mean a two something, 260 or something like that. Um, this 35 will be a 40 something. This is all full frame terms, by the way. But, you know, I really also can't wait to get this Lycaflex cleaned up and, use it on here. Oh, and this 50 here will be a, uh, a 75. So um, it'll be a lot of fun to try and use this camera again. I used to own a Leica Flex SL Mott and a Leica SL2, and I really enjoyed those cameras, but um, you know, we're in the digital age now, but it, you know, it, it, it's, you know, being an old film guy, obviously, it, it'll, it means a lot to me to to use film again and to um, show you guys what I get with film because it's it's a different process for me it's a different process uh, you got to watch your money because um, each each particular frame is going to be costing more I'm not going to be shooting 36 frame rolls anymore I'm going to be shooting 24s just because they're less expensive and you know let's say I um, you know you don't want to be shooting too many on either side you know when I was doing important work um, I would, I would bracket, but, uh, I don't, you know, <laughs> we're going to, I'm going to see what happens after I get a process and see how much bracketing I have to do. So it's going to be a, an overall process and part of what's going to be going on with this channel from now on, we're going to be doing a lot of different things, not just Fuji, not just Leica, but we're going to be doing some film, uh, and some Polaroid stuff here. And I got a lot going on going forward, but you know, the biggest thing is, is that I still enjoy going out and shooting with my Fuji equipment, and I can't wait for the new stuff to come out. Uh, 2022 XH2, boy, I can't wait to see that one, 40 megapixels. Uh, there might be two different versions of that camera. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun. Hey, wouldn't it be great if one of them was a monochrome version? Boy, that I would be all over that instantly, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Fuji's probably gonna bring the price down and put a different sensor in it. I don't know. Hey, it's all speculation at this point, but hey, I can't wait to see what happens. And you know, Fuji's got, you know, they've got some beautiful lenses that are out now. They got the, are coming out, uh, the 3314 and the 2314. I'm hoping to get a hold of that 2314 so I can let you guys know about it. So that's it for this week. Hey, and we'll catch you next time.